You need to tie that off so that you can hold this one. Because you'll drop, you'll drop the um, port side first. Just slipped as well. Yeah. We don't. We need this one slipped. That one doesn't need to be slipped. Okay, I'll drop this line first and then we can drop the starboard side together. Yep, yeah, port is off. We're off? Okay. Alright, off at the bow. I can't help it. Just a gentle little push. A gentle push. Valencia. Goodbye Valencia. Oh, I'm a bit sad. We've had a lovely month. Well, we, and we were here before winter, so we've had several months here actually. Well, we've made lots of happy memories. We have made lots of happy memories. Yes. yes. You need to take the main sheet off. See where she, ca she catches on the spread as well, she's just turned into wind. wind to fill the sails at the moment we've only got about three knots so hopefully it fills in a little bit throughout the day and we can actually turn the engine off that would be lovely well we're back up it's back it's season four we're actually sailing which is nice this is kind of what we wanted isn't it as you get the bloody boat moving I would say that Valencia just I know that I've waxed lyrical about Valencia we've been there for a month getting the boat ready and just waiting for you know visitors and friends and stuff all I would say is I think it's the nicest city we've ever visited for just having everything. As the Italian chap on our pontoon said, if you were to plan a city for the future, that's what Valencia would be. So anyway, enough about Valencia. Mm -hmm. uh, I've talked about it a lot in previous videos. Um, we're, we're off, it's time to start moving north, which for us means, um, well, we're heading today towards a place called um, to Carlos de la Pita. To, to, by tomorrow, we've got yeah. an overnight stop, so we've got, we've got a little trip today, a lovely little shake down about 30 miles. Then we're going to head up the coast to St. Carlos de Rapita, which has got an inland lagoon in it, hopefully catch up with some friends there. Then after that is going to be the, hopefully, the beautiful uh, Roman city of Tarragona, then Barcelona. Um, we've been to Barcelona, liked it, want to go back. And then after that, there are some lovely little anchorages, hopefully, and then into France. And I am really looking forward to France. So lovely to be back on the water. These sails are driving the boat forward, albeit with a little bit of motor assistance, but they, they, they're set really well. So we've got, what, uh, five knots of apparent, um, apparent wind. A, a lot of it's created by um, the motor, but it gives us a bit of drive. Gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors And I'll sing until my lungs give out I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open So that I can hear the sound of Talking, the wind blowing in the trees. Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light. Oh, and I'll try to spread my wings so I can fly. Oh, and the darkness starts to fade. Feels like things are gonna go my way. I'm gonna let the sun 
sunshine in the day I'm gonna let the past be filled with smoke And I will try to fix what has been broken And take this weight off my shoulders Cause I know yesterday I'm coming back Ten knots on the beam. Flatsies. Bright the, sunshine. Where's the true wind strength? True wind is 13 knots. Yeah, this is kind of like something I kind of enjoy. <laughs> it's nice not having Bimini up. I do not remember having sailing this good in a very, very long time. We got 15 knots coming just abaft to the beam, as Nick is fond of saying. And we're doing about six and a half, seven knots, 7.7, 7. 7.9. 7. 7. 7. 7. Hmm, that's pretty exciting. That's what new sails in a clean hull does. Hey Fabri. It's a shame we've only got another seven miles to go before our marina. Puerto Marina Burinova, Puerto Marina Burinova. This is not really rose, it's really rose. Over. Puerto Marina Burinova, Puerto Marina Burinova. Not really rose, it's really rose. Over. Yes, hello, we're a 12 meter sailing yacht. We've just entered the port and we're requesting a berth for tonight. Over. Okay. 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 I still need to get the fenders out, okay, so we might have to do some laps. Okay, we'll just... What's it called? Yacht Club? No, Puerto Marina. Puerto Marina, Burianova, Puerto Marina, Burianova. This is Yacht Ruby Rose, over. Yeah, hello, we are just, we've arrived, I called before, we are requesting a space for a 12 metre sailing boat, over. Wait a moment, please. The sailor is calling. Uh, boat berth in pontoon number two. Pontoon number two. Do you have a number for that, please? Over. It's the first pontoon. First pontoon. Okay, we will wait for the marinero. Is that correct? Over. That's correct. Okay, we're just making circles outside your office. Over. Thank you so much. Listening on nine. So I'm going to go in on starboard. Yeah. So we're recording. Oh, we're in. It's a bit rolly and rocky, but we're in. 
all tied up nice and safe and sound for the night and uh, first thing tomorrow morning we'll drop our lines and carry on heading north we're gonna get pushed back we've only got about what 10 foot before we hit the boat behind yeah my plan would be to take the stern line off yeah first we'll take this line off yeah yeah then we're gonna take the stern line off and bring that stern line actually so if we can get that one on a slip, as in that spring, we'll yeah. put that spring onto a slip that goes around that. Yeah. yeah. So we can pull that off really quickly. Sorry, I'm confused. Okay, what so are we doing with the stern? What is that with the stern line? That one comes off. Okay. Not doing anything. And then this. No. Then this spring. This is takes becomes. Us off, and yeah. I'm going to put this as a spring on a slip around that cleat. Okay. Yeah. Between where? Between this cleat here. Yeah. Okay, all right, all right, then, yes. If the, bow doesn't, if the bow doesn't swing out, we can spring it out. Yes. Yes? Yeah. Okay. Okay, spring, get that spring off, please. It's on a slip. Are we off, babe? All right. It was getting a little bit uh, hairy outside. The um, wind picked up to about 25 knots and um, we decided to put a reef in and we also had a jibe. So we did all that in one maneuver and I'm sorry I didn't film it, but our GoPro was um, dead. So anyway, um, so we've done that, we've jived, we've put two reefs in, we've slowed her down and she's a lot more comfortable now because it was getting a little bit uh, rocky. And this is what this is what life on a monohull when things are getting a little bit rolly. I come downstairs to make a cup of tea and everything is on the floor. We've got like the fan on the floor with the other fan. We've got our chopping block there, which usually lives ne next to our oven. Um, that's just gone sliding across the floor. Uh, we had a drawer come out, which Nick's had to put back in. Luckily nothing was broken because it was our like laptop hard disk drawer. And you know, we've got a couple of pillows in the corner that's totally fine um all of our change uh like we, we keep all of our loose change in the bowl so that when we go to the laundry we have all of our change there that's all on the floor behind me um along with all the blankets and pillows that we keep on the cu uh, couches but the most annoying thing is that our spices which live on the spice rack which is obviously not heel proof I um, have all gone crashing down onto the floor and then I think you can see them there, just there. You can't see the spices all over the floor but yeah there's like dried herbs everywhere. Um, so that's going to be my job to clean up and from experience I know that I'll be finding dried thyme or whatever in the nooks and crannies of this boat for probably weeks if not years to come so yeah that's life on a healing and rolling monohull it's fun as long as you don't break anything valuable and you don't make too much of a mess it it can be fun but uh yeah i'm glad that the boat's now a little bit calmer and i'm gonna make some tea for us as a reward we've had up to about 30 knots i think next about 28 30 knots we've got 25 knots at the moment top speed's 9.6 average speed is 7.1 and uh yeah we're doing about five and a half, oh, uh, yeah anywhere between five and a half and seven and a half knots at the moment i think yeah average is about seven knots behind us for once and uh, we're just enjoying the ride I think later on today the wind's gonna drop off and uh, at that point the engine will unfortunately have to come on so we're enjoying it while we can we some star jumps to keep warm <laughs> it's freezing no, come sit next to me I'm, I'm in the sun kind of no, no no I'm just gonna sit down here you're gonna stay downstairs I'm just gonna stay here oh yeah it is a bit cold it is a bit cold. It's only 11 degrees. Do you not feel cold? No. But I think that I'm in, your entire body's in the shade. I'm in the sun. I'm my mother's son. Yeah. So you don't have your vest on. 
<laughs> Where's me vest? <laughs> well, after a very exciting morning, we uh, now have very little wind. The motor is back on and the clouds are rolling in and it's actually becoming quite cold again. I don't want to do it again with my sunglasses off. I like my sunglasses on sometimes. I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> After a very exciting morning with lots of wind and jibing and reefing down and then shaking out the reefs and then furling the jib and then getting the jib back out and dodging oil tankers. There was a lot going on this morning. Now we have no wind. How many more miles to go? 19. 19 miles to go. How many have we done? 30? We're doing about six knots, five and a half knots, which is pretty good. We, we still have a little bit of wind, so we're still getting some drive from the sails, but yeah, our mission is just to get in now and um, enjoy our evening. And then we're gonna have a few days off. So there's an update for you. That's what's happening. Three more miles to go. Six point five. Goodbye, Norma Jean, though I never knew you at all. It's a bit breezy this evening. <laughs> and I'll just wash and brush my hair for a change. I, however, have done f all. I've just <laughs> scrubbed my ass and walk out. Well, yeah, scrubbing your ass is better than what I usually get, so. Was I? Okay. Now that that's sorted. Take two. Take two. My hair was all lovely and newly brushed and now it's like a mess. A tangled mess. Oh, however I'm perfectly coiffed. <laughs> so anyway, 
Here we are in St. Carlos de la Repita and this is a very popular area for a lot of liverboards to spend the winter apparently. Uh, we actually very nearly spent our winter here but uh, we stayed in Valencia because we were so charmed. Anyway, so we got in this afternoon after two lovely days of sailing and <laughs> apart from this squall which has just kind of come out of nowhere and hopefully it's passed now and that's the end of that. Um, it's been a lovely couple of days and to end that really nice kind of weekend of sailing we have been invited over for dinner for um, by two of our friends Elena and Ryan who you may know from Sailing Kitty Wake they're a fellow YouTube channel I shall link to them below in our description and uh, yeah Elena is uh, Italian and has promised us pasta for dinner tonight so we are excited we have beers we're gonna have pasta beer good conversation I can't think of a better way to end a nice sail and actually now it's um a weirdly nice kind of evening now that that squall's passed through that was mad do you know where you're going okay So what's the plan going through the French canals? Oh, who knows? Yes. <laughs> well, assuming... Yeah, we assuming. don't sell the boat, yeah, the yeah. French canals back to Itchin to sell the boat. Do what? It, uh, near Portsmouth. Um, they'll be in the UK for a bit. Yeah. No, 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 no